What's up, guys? Prince Sports here. Check this out, man. LeBron James is playing with two All-Stars, right? He has future Hall of Famers. And we're discussing rather he needs more All-Stars and more help. We're discussing rather he will even make the playoffs. That's how bad it's getting for the Lakers, okay? Um, some people don't even believe this team could make the playoffs. Now, this is LeBron in the Western Conference. And outside of that one championship that they won with a break from COVID, um, his career in the Western Conference has not been that impressive. And just imagine how long of failures he would have had if he played in the Western Conference the same amount of time as a Kobe Bryant. So as far as the media goes, no excuses. You're playing with way too much talent to be losing games. And LeBron James looking like he's losing his mind out there on the basketball court. But I'm going to tell you like this. You asked for those players on the team. You made your bed. Now you got to lie in it. You're going to have to figure out a way to win games. All right. You don't need no more all-stars. You don't need no more future Hall of Famers. What are we going to give you? Every single great player to ever play basketball? How much talent do you need to constantly try to win games? It's just making you be exposed even more. And let me tell you this much. The Lakers gave up 66 points in the first half. Second half, they gave up 71 points. All right? So that goes to show me all of those stats that LeBron James putting up, even if he having a 30-point game, all he doing is scoring. But if all you're doing is scoring and you're not stopping nobody on the opposite end, you're not really dominating the game of basketball. Now, when he was younger in Miami and early days in Cleveland, he was actually playing defense, chase down blocks, and scoring, okay? But now, this is not the same LeBron that you see from years past. This is more of a stat padding version because those numbers are empty. Those numbers are pointless, you know, for a superstar to be pitting up those scoring numbers, but you're getting blown out like that, that's pointless. Dog, you got the brakes beat off you by the San Antonio Spurs. Your 30-something points means nothing to me because you got blown out. That just means you got those points because you hold on to the ball too long and somebody's going to have to score. Even on a bad team, a guy could put up 40 points in the game because somebody got to do the scoring. Somebody going to get 40. And if you have the ball in your hand all the time, of course you're going to get 40. So Lakers are a mess right now. And he may miss the playoffs. He got taken out in the first round. And now you may even miss the playoffs. That's how bad it is for LeBron James in the Western Conference. Just imagine how long, how much losing he would have had if he played in the Western Conference as long as Kobe. I'm telling you again and again. If he don't stack the deck, he don't win. Simple as that. The only way he could win is by getting more and more talent. To me, that's the biggest Achilles heel for LeBron James towards his legacy. Okay? Because everybody else, the guys that you mentioned in the same breath as him, they won with lesser talent than he has. They won with lesser Hall of Famers than he has. Period. And they did it in a more impressive fashion. Kobe Bryant won five chips playing in the Western Conference, okay? And he had to go through some of the teams that if he wasn't winning the championship, they probably would have won the championship, you know? Do the math, man. Um, <laughs> it's not looking good for the Lakers. But they talking about trading LeBron James. They talking about at least the agent was bringing that up. But I don't think that's going to happen. You're going to have to stay on this team. Don't try to run away from the, the Lakers now. You're going to have to deal with those boys. And it's your situation to deal with. Period. So, it is what it is. Prince Sports out. Peace.